Hello my friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut, unedited, no bull video. Today I will be cooking lamb shoulder, big like that, it's 2.1 kilos of lamb shoulder and it will be done in no time, it will be most tender and delicious. That's my secret for Philips pressure cooker. You can cook it in any pressure cooker by the way. And the reason why I would like to show it in Philips because Philips has um, little limitations where I'll show you tips and tricks how to make it right. So the recipe is very easy. And by the way, all ingredients that I'm using today, including the pressure cooker, knives and all other actual food ingredients you can find in a, a video description down below. So let's get started. What we need to do is to make sure that everything fits properly, I'll place the lamb shoulder straight in the bowl, right? It feels, fits almost right. I'm not sure if it's visible, but it is important to be at least one centimeter below uh, the top of the lid here. What I'll do next is I've got a couple of sticks of organic celery and I'll take one of my baccarat knives and slice them. I think this is most appropriate knife. And it really doesn't matter how you slice them. What is important that it will all need to fit in. As you pressure cooking things, um, it will almost all disintegrate. So I'd say you can be particular about size, but at the moment I'm just focusing on fitting all ingredients in. So here's a second stock of celery. And by the way, if you don't like celery, that's fine not to put it, but uh, trust me, at the end, when it's cooked, you almost won't taste celery. And nutritional benefits of it is quite significant. So um, I wouldn't skip on celery, uh, but it's your choice. So I'm using, I guess, um, three and a half or four stocks of celery. It's quite a significant portion of lamb, which is um, just about two kilos and I would like the whole lamb to absorb the flavor so I'm um, chopping more celery here so we've got two little stocks left and by the way the prep will probably take you five minutes uh, and clean up another ten so this is your time that you spend cooking that delicious lamb now, I've got whole knob of garlic prepared. Of course, you can use your minced garlic, but as I say, I prefer all the fresh organic ingredients because my cooking and my kitchen is all about nutrition and outcome. As long as you can, with your nutrition, achieve great flavor, it is important to use organic, clean, ingredients for everything so i'm using a whole knob of garlic i don't know it sounds excessive and you can use less if you wish to but it trust me two kilos of lamb probably another two to three liters of water there um, the flavor will spread quite in evenly and garlic would not overpower dish but it will smell and taste delicious all right, we mince all the garlic in. One more knob left. Not knob, sorry, uh, clove. All right, now all the garlic in. Quickly rinse my hands. Now, all secret ingredients. The first secret ingredient is salt. And I'll put link down below to salt I'm buying. I'm buying salt from Amazon. And if you buy salt, please do me a favor, buy Himalayan salt. If you don't have access to Himalayan salt, buy sea salt. Do not use any other salt for many reasons, but today I'll be focusing on lamb, not on salt. I already reviewed salt a long time ago. So for two kilos of lamb, which is probably need a little bit less than a tablespoon of salt. All right, salt is in. Another significant flavor is bay leaves. I would say if you put four, five, maybe even six, it doesn't matter, I put 10 approximately. I love 
beer with flavor. Um, they don't have any taste but flavor. Uh, they add taste but flavor and smell are phenomenal. Now, I will add a couple of peppercorns. I will drain them later on. But they also add a lot of flavor. So I guess, you know, um, half of teaspoon peppercorns in. And this is my last secret ingredient, natural bone broth. By the way, when you finish cooking your lamb, what will happen here? You have most tender lamb that can serve separately and you have another two to three liters of pure bone broth. If you're fasting or even you just try to replenish your gut bacteria, everything, that is gold liquid for you. Never discard it. What you've got there after cooking lamb, it's most nutritious bit. So we take approximately one tablespoon of bone broth. It's a good quality concentrated broth, so it's very thick. I put down the long description what bro bone broth I use. I, I tried many and by the way, that's just one of the best uh, on the market. Now, the most important bit. Please do me a favor, use filtered water. The water is clean in Australia, however, there's a lot of chemicals used to treat that water and you don't want to boil those chemicals into your dish because your dish will get all the chemicals from the water. So water that is standard for drinking doesn't mean it's a clean water and I would not use bottled water because the plastic leaching into water so use your I'm using Brita filter you can use under the sink filter whatever filtered water you use please use uh, filtered water I bought this one on Amazon as well I'll put links down below but it's the main point for this dish it's use filtered water now we fill all of this all the way up to cover the meat and when meat is covered, we make sure there's a one centimeter of water on the top of the meat. Why is it important? Because the meat will be cooking in that water. And if you're not covering your meat with the water, it won't do the trick. All right. So everything now covered, everything is looking good. And here's the secret. tips and tricks first of all make sure that your pot is sealed turn it on when it turns on straight go straight to the pressure cooker and choose meat and poultry right when you chosen that it will be uh, choose uh, cooking time and increase your time to 50 minutes so to make lamb tender you need to cook for an hour and a half which is 19 to 95 minutes that's the way uh okay hold on i'll start it this is where philips pressure cooker a bit tricky and i'm not happy with them i'm gonna let uh, philips know that um in this day and age they could actually make a try they're limiting pressure cooking here for, uh, for 59 minutes it's not enough to cook lamb so you set it for 50 minutes when it beeps and it's cooked reset it for another 45 to 50 minutes the total cooking time for lamb leg or lamb shoulder in a pressure cooking system should be around one hour and a half now i started pressure cooker what it does it heating up the water inside it and then when it starts steaming it will pressurize it and when pressure is achieved the timer that i put of 50 minutes will set i guess we won't wait for one hour and a half i'll see you when it's all done to show you final result trust me it's gonna be perfect i'll see you soon here we are guys, with one minute to go, this lamb shoulder was in a pressure cooker for two lots of 50 minutes in my case. 
I have no idea what to expect, expect when I open it up. However, when this appliance beep, what I will do, I will release all the pressure from inside, then open the top or twist it open and have a look what's inside. If it looks cooked to me, I will sample it and I put it on a plate and show you the final product. If it doesn't look like it's totally cooked or tender, I'll probably put it for another 30 minutes, which is unlikely. So let's wait until it beeps and open up. So what we'll do, it beeps right now. That means the product is done. I uh, turn it off from the power point and release pressure. Sorry for the noise. It will be a little bit noisy until I release all the pressure. But until I release the pressure, I cannot open or twist open the top. All right, let's go. It smells delicious. I'm not sure what it tastes like, but it smells delicious. Let's keep releasing it. Just it's sprinkling a little bit because it probably was full. I just quickly wipe it on top and keep releasing it. I cannot wait to see what's inside. I hope it's good. So much pressure didn't release. I hope it's really good. that for when I was doing it. I'm not sure why. Almost done. Almost done. Thank you for your patience. Oh, it's all done. Now wait for click. So click that means I can release that uh, top and twist it. And click. Yeah, we got click. Oh, look at that. It's just beautiful. I'm not sure if it's visible, it's all on top here. Let's see if it's tender. What I will do, I'll try to put it on top of the plate. Oh. Oh. Look at this, it should be perfect. Let's cut a bit and test it. Oh, look at how tender it is. I just, I'm just not sure if it's possible. I'll start cutting it, but even before cutting, look, this is how tender it is in a pressure cooker. Well, let's have a look. 
Mm, guys, it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Every single flavor we put in made this be delicious. And look how tender it is. That is superb. It just fallen off the bone. And what we've got here is pure bone broth. So we've got number of dishes done in literally 20 minutes. 10 minutes prep and 10 minutes uh, dividing and cooking up. We've got probably good week of whole family dinners and lunches. And yeah, you don't want to eat every day the same, but in a quantity. And probably another week of bone broth. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel, hit like, hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of my other videos. And if you would like me to cook anything else, help you with health, fitness, or anything else in life, let me know in the comments down below and I'll create more videos. Thank you very much, Greg from Brisbane, Australia.